Continuing with this month's uh, prep, which is protein procurement, I've laid out some of the traps that I have. just want to talk about trapping. Now, first of all, it's a crab trap. And um, I've got three of these and haven't used them in a while. I mentioned in the, uh, in the uh, fishing video that the turtles were really tearing these crab traps up. So, um, if we wanted to start crabbing again, we would have to do away with the turtles, and uh, that would probably be job one, and that would probably be accomplished with a 22 or, or a, a trot line. Next, we have these super duper heavy duty stainless steel rat traps. I did a video on these when I got them, got them off Amazon. I'm very impressed with them, they are some heavy duty rat traps very strong springs and um, one one sad story to tell you notice there's only three there I bought a package of four but I didn't have the wire attached to them when I first laid them out and I laid some out because I had something coming in the yard and uh, whatever that something was it hauled off one of my traps uh, after that I started wiring them so that they couldn't be pulled off and you know I searched time low for that trap and uh, something, and it couldn't have been a rat. Something took that trap with it and went away. And I, I, I really regret that. I wish I had had the forethought, forethought to, to uh, put wire on it and, and secure it. Next you have these live traps. And you can get this little set right here. It's a two, two trap set for under 30 bucks and, and even about 26 bucks, I think, on sale. A tractor supply and I bought it not with the idea of protein procurement but dealing with the uh, animals out here that bother our chickens or even bother our cats mostly uh, raccoons and possums and I've caught a few of each with these but they come in handy and there's nothing to say that if you were in a SHTF situation you couldn't catch your uh, protein live and dispatch it afterwards so I think they have a place and they're just a good thing to have around if you live out where, you know, there's going to be some some nuisance predators going on. So that's what I've got for for traps. I have looked at the, uh, the I don't know what you would call them, the beaver trap type of traps, the spring traps with the, uh, with the jaw teeth. They, uh, there's a hardware store up in town that actually sells them. And uh, they're not cheap, and, and also they, they bring some um, dangers that, that I just don't really want to deal with. Um, none of these traps here are really much, much of a danger to me. I might get a broken finger or toe off one of those rat traps. But those other traps, they actually could hurt somebody. And if I was in a situation where I wanted to hurt somebody, where I wanted to set out um, disabling, debilitating um, traps for you know, people come onto my property, uh, I can build those pretty easy. And, and I have the, the ability to do that. So, all right. So there's my thoughts on traps. I think I'm going to maybe get a couple more of these. They, you know, they're, they're, they're rubber coated or, or plastic coated wire these days, so they don't go bad. You can throw them up under a shed and they'll be there forever. And good thing to have if we get to that situation where we need to be catching our protein. Uh, being blessed to live here on the water, that makes more sense than anything else. But I think it's always good to be able to control the nuisance predator population and possibly uh, put something in the, in the cook pot. 